And Sam, thank you. Well, the 45th annual Briggs and Owls Run and Walk, benefiting Children's Hospital of Wisconsin, shut down downtown for a few hours this morning in Milwaukee. As CBS 58's Frank Keeley was there and shows us how the event helps kids and their families here in Wisconsin. Thousands of people started out at the Marquette University campus and came all the way here to Summerfest grounds, all for a good cause. We have over 8,000 community members, patient families coming together to raise money for Children's Wisconsin. Let's go! Children's Wisconsin Foundation officials say this year's race is different. And because it's 45 years and we haven't been together for two years. As the previous two have been virtual due to COVID, but now... They're back. Everybody clap your hands. Earning money for research and more at Children's Wisconsin, the way Marquette University basketball coach Al McGuire intended. It helps us do the things that aren't covered by insurance, aren't covered by Medicaid. And so all the things that make Children's Wisconsin special. This year, over 1,700 former or current Children's Wisconsin patients were part of the run and walk more than ever before. Joe was born with a congenital heart defect that required surgery within two weeks of him being born. Families like the Readingers. Joe says while there's more surgeries ahead, he's glad to see so many people like him being supported by the community. It's crazy. There's so much people that have different issues and it's happy for them to be able to be here right now. Something everyone in this family is thankful for. It's nice. I like how like, everyone gets together and like you can just walk together. We're very appreciative of Children's Hospital of Wisconsin. Ever since Joe was born, this is just a way for us to give back. As participants clock their finish times, they all know that they've been part of raising over $21 million since the race started in 1977. In Milwaukee, Frank Healy, CBS 58 News. Great to have that event.